guys, it's Erin here with Hand Stamp Style, and I have one final tutorial um, for you guys today from our flowers class, and it is how to make these adorable little roses, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, they look really difficult, um, and they're not hard, they're just a little bit time consuming. So the first thing you're going to start with is you're going to want to get some type of flower image with a deep um, petal area here. <clears throat> I'm using this um, flower from the Blossom Party um, die, and you're going to want to cut four of these. Or if you have a punch, you can punch four um, of your of your shapes out, depending on how many petals they have. Um, I think anything with six or more petals um, is definitely what you... Is that right? I think it has to have eight, eight or more petals, then you can work with it. You could modify it too and just make smaller versions of it. So first thing you're going to want to do with every single one of your flowers is you're going to want to score in between each of the, um, the little divots between the petals. And so I just line up the little, the, little air, the little divots on my paper cutter and I score the center marks. So you end up with those score lines. Hopefully you can see those. And then what you're going to want to do, oops, my scissors, is you are going to cut, I've already cut some of them here, you're going to cut your flowers as you see here. Okay? So with the first one, you're just going to cut a slit just like that. Just one slit. And then you're going to remove one petal out of the next one, two petals out of the, the third one, three petals out of the fourth one. You actually won't use these unless your flower isn't as full as you want it to be. Um, so you really won't use these, but you will use this third one. And basically what you're going to want to do is on all of these you're going to want to put a little bit of glue on one of the petals, okay, except for that one, and you're going to want to combine to make like a little cup. See how I've done that? And you're going to want to hold it for a second, you know, so it sticks, so it starts to dry. If you have little clothespins too, that's nice because you can do this and stick them and then kind of set them aside. And we'll do this one next. And those score lines really help the flower to kind of collapse in on itself and give without, without fighting you so that you really don't, you really don't have to hold those as long. Um, because they're, oops, hopefully you can see how I did that. I'm just matching up the, the petals and sticking them in on themselves. And then the last one, let me fold this a little bit here, it'll make it easier. Okay, you see how I did that? My hands are starting to get sticky because I've got glue on them. Okay, nope. once that's stuck, it's stuck. All right, so now that those are sort of drying, let me put the lid on this for a second, you're gonna wanna take them and you're gonna wanna cut a small hole at the base of every one of them. Be sure you're not sticking your finger in there so far that you're gonna cut your finger. Okay, so you're gonna wanna cut the tips, the ends of them off because they're gonna actually kinda fit inside each other and you start to put them together. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take a little skewer, just a little, a little dowel, and you're going to curl the edges of your flowers. Just, I mean the petals. You're going to do this with each petal. And this is really what takes the most time, is doing each individual petal.
Okay. Now you're also going to want to, to roll the petals in this one as well. So you're going to kind of fold your edges and then you're going to curl your, your petals on this three pronged one as well and just set that aside. Now we're going to start to assemble the flower. So you put a little bit of glue in the center and lay your next layer and I like to offset my petals and then you're just going to hold it for a bit and give it a chance to kind of adhere to each other to stick and then once that's kind of grabbed on you're going to add your next layer just like that hold it a second and give it a minute to, to set Then your next layer. You can see how I'm putting that glue in there. I'm not being real careful about it or anything. And then just hold it. And some glue might squeeze out the bottom, but you can always wash it off. Okay, so that's going to start to harden and dry. And then the last thing you want to do is put a little bit more glue in the center. I haven't quite attached that the last one. Still kind of moving. And you're just going to kind of force that in there. And I like to curl the, the petals so they're actually kind of inside the entire thing. And you see how I have kind of a hole? If you don't like how big that hole is, you can also add, you can curl up this one and throw it in there as well. So you're going to have to hold that for a minute while it dries. And I'm, I'm going to let that, I'm going to set that off to the side and let it dry for just a moment while I show you how to make the, um, the leaves for your flower. Okay. So you're going to need some Lucky Limeade or, or any green colored cardstock. And you're going to get two oval punches just like that. And what I did, oops, now what I did is I took my oval punches and you fold them in half. They don't have to be perfectly in half, just because you won't be able to tell once you open them back up. So you fold them in half like this, okay? Then you take your, this is a crimper, best tool in the world and you run it through your crimper just like that and then when you open them you can see they look just like leaves. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And then you've got two of them. So then what you do is you just take a couple of glue dots put glue dots on the end there, attach them to the back of your dried flower just like so and you end up with an adorable little flower. And then I attached it to one of these two tags and all I did is I die cut one of the tags in um, Poppy Parade and then I did another one with the Everyday Enchantment um, DSP from the Celebration Catalog right now and I trimmed around the perforated area and you just adhere this and don't worry about getting it perfect around the scallop because you won't even see it. So you'll attach these pieces, put again another one of those thick um, glue dots. I don't see it. What I want to do is just put this together really quickly. So when I do, and these make such cute bookmarks. Then you take another thick, thick, Blue dot. Sometimes it's really hard for that whoops to come off of thing. See that's really thick. And you just take it and stick it right on your bookmark. And then you've got these cute little bookmarks to give away as gifts. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. If you do, I'd love to see what you create. Leave a comment either on this post, on my YouTube channel, or my Facebook page. 
I'd love to talk to you and hopefully see your project. Hope you enjoyed it today. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.